and welcome. I am here for a number of reasons. My wife told me to be. <laughs>
I was physically ill. Because I like Tom Swazi, and I admire him. Thank you. And I God. Remember, I remember what a lot of younger voters in this election won't remember. I remember the trouble that Nassau County was in when he became the county executive. I remember how bad it was. I remember nobody had a vision for the economy. Nobody thought, how are we going to get out of this? And nobody was willing to take any tough decisions. And nobody wanted to give me any money at an affordable interest rate. And you were on the downhill path. You were in danger of becoming yesterday's great place. And he took a bunch of tough decisions and turned it around. And then he hit the second downturn with that horrible financial crash and he tried to do something honorable and noble to keep you from getting in trouble again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and people didn't like it mm -hmm. and instead of voting against him most of them just stayed home mm -hmm. tens of thousands of them stayed home enough for him to lose an election by less than 400 votes so what have you got now you've got four years of experience where a guy said, vote for me because of what I didn't do. <laughs> he wasn't an axe murderer either. I mean, he was There's a lot of things we're glad that he didn't do. <laughs> Here's I can tell you whoever took somebody else's car off the lot. I think you were laughing, but I'm serious. <laughs> Have we reached the point in our country with all our disappointments and all of our partisan battles and all of our economic hardship that we really believe we should give somebody a position of this responsibility, the only position in this county that can reshape the future and create a whole new economic direction, which you heard Tom talk about at the end. It's the most important reason to vote for That and the fact that he can add. He'll <laughs> <laughs> get you out of trouble again. But do you really, can you afford to make a decision because of something somebody didn't do? No. And property taxes did go up for two thirds of the people. In the county, we call it the way the sets were handled. Plus, everybody had to pay more fees. That's right. Mm -hmm. And a great Republican, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, in the health care case said, You can call it a fee, I'm going to call it a tax. Yep. Yeah, yep. I'm betting everybody to have Justice Roberts used against it. <laughs> talk about, you know, I work all over the world now, and all over America, and I try to help people solve problems, and half the time I have no idea whether the people I'm working with are Republicans or Democrats in America. All I want to do is to find and figure out a way to solve a problem or seize an opportunity and do it faster, cheaper, and better than it's been done before. Mm -hmm. That's the real work of building a future in a time of change. Look, a lot of people in this country are in trouble. Median family income, the income in the middle, not average, in the middle, after inflation, is still lower than it was the day I left off. Mm -hmm. Because we have had all these squabbles, and we major in the minors, and we, everybody's afraid of, of their shadow, and they won't get elected for what they didn't do. Right. Yeah. And if you ought to read, if you have the Newsday endorsement of Tom. Mm -hmm. And you know what go through all the he said, she said stuff about what happened before. The most important thing is he's the only person you can vote for that's got a theory about how to revive the economy and make this a future place again. We've got to get America right. and we've got to get NASA. Clever, 
and I can tell you a few more jokes than I'm telling you when it comes down to it, when, you, when all your public service is over, there are only three things that matter. Are things better when you quit than when you started? The children have a better future? And are things coming together instead of being torn apart? The rest of it is all background music. And the only way to deal with these big forces that Tom and Jay both talked about, yeah. that have been working like an undertow on this county for decades now, is to get back in the future business. He's got the only credible plan to get young people back here, to get jobs back here, to get investment back here, to make people go forward together. And 